Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, I'm going to start in here and show you some stuff in here first. Uh, today, and then I'll take you outside and I'll show you outside. Right now, I'm only bringing in 69 watts. I got to clean the panels off again, but uh, the batteries are at 25.8. I know you guys can't see this, so I'm going to tell you um, as far as voltage, uh, they're at 99%. Okay. So when I came out here this morning, the batteries were at 24.9, and uh, you know we were bringing in nothing because the panels were completely covered with snow, so we uncovered them. Um, so I do have to get back out here and wipe off the panels again, but I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, if you, you know, the batteries are doing good. They're, like I said, they're all at 99% charge. Uh, I'll be honest, I have been very much babying the, the batteries this winter, <clears throat> and I will continue to do that just because I want to be on the safe side, you know, with all of this and, uh, you know, and not run them all the time and run them down and wear them out. So we've been using the generator more this year. And um, so that's one of the reasons why. But let me show you what it looks like out here. And you can see it's uh, quite snowy. We had a lot of snow overnight when we had nothing before. Um, yesterday was nothing. Today is the 24th of January. It's Tuesday. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's been snowing all day. It was raining last night. The rain turned to ice and, uh, you know, and then went to uh, snow from there. But, uh, yeah, so it's been kind of a, it's an all-day thing. Uh, we probably, I'm trying to think how many inches, maybe four or five inches of snow, you know, all together with this. And, I mean, it probably a layer of ice underneath. Now, I don't know if you can see from here. You probably can see that on the panels. Some of the lower parts are covered. The upper parts are open still. Okay, you see that right there? So I got to go back out and I got to brush them down again. And, actually, my production will go up as far as what I'm bringing in. So we actually are bringing in power even though outside here it is overcast snowing uh you know there's you're not going to see the sunshine but we're still getting the sun through the clouds so we are getting some power um brought in today but not a whole lot now i've had a couple of people ask me what do we do um like on a normal daily basis here um you know at the homestead so um, one of the things we do, like I said, especially wintertime, we come out first thing and we clean the panels off and get them squared away so that they're they're good to go. Um, that's an important thing. Obviously, we want to try to bring in as much power as we possibly can, especially on a day when we're not getting a whole lot of power. Um, so you try to get it as much as you absolutely can. Another thing that we do on a daily basis, like this morning when we got up, we uh, went over and got wood and brought wood into the house. So we do... A couple different things with that. Obviously, we still have a lot of wood here. This is more when it's just down to coals. A lot of times what I'll do is, and I brought some of these in the house too. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a couple of these and I'll throw that on there first. Because these are really, really dry and they burn really, really well. So I'll throw a couple of them on first and then I'll put a couple of pieces of ash on. And then I usually put the maple on last. Uh, so what we did is, you know, obviously we took, we grabbed some maple and then we grabbed some more ash and we just, you know, working on that slow and steady and, uh, you know, just keeps, uh, you know, every, like I said, the, we had some really mild weather, so we really weren't running the fire very much at all. And that was freaking awesome. And so, you know, what, that's one of the things that we do as far as that goes. And I'll, I'll bring this over here closer so you can see this, but, um, so the upper parts here are clear. I just got to take the broom and hit these here, and the production will go up as soon as I do that. So I'm going to do that here as soon as I get off from this video. But, uh, you know, um, I also had another conversation actually today with uh, somebody that had come up and visited. And, uh, you know, um, she's actually getting ready to buy land, which is awesome. And, um, you know, so that's, you know... That's good. She's she's following her dream. She wants to be off grid, and uh, I I respect that for anybody that wants to do it, and I support anybody that wants to do it. It's um you know again let's let's do a definition of off grid or, or homestead. Okay, uh, if you look in Webster's dictionary, uh, again having the conversation that I had with Bill, he said uh, you know the definition is not being hooked up to the municipalities. So you know that's what we are. So you know. And somebody was, you know, on my channel saying that, you know, you can't call this a homestead, blah, 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 blah. 
Well, here's the thing. If I want to call this the blue pile of mud, that's what I'm going to call it. It's my place. I'll call it whatever I want to. Again, I just love it when people get on there and just tell you what you should do in, in that aspect or what you, you can't do this or you can't do that. Well, yeah, I can. I can do whatever I want. Again, my channel. So anyway, um, you know, like I said, we just keep progressing along here, working on stuff, getting things done. Today's kind of a, been a low key day. Uh, Heather ended up not going to school today because it was just, uh, they were already on a two hour delay for school and uh, every other school in the area was closed you know, except for her school. So it's like, that doesn't make any sense. But, uh, so I just told her, no, go ahead and stay home. Cause it was just, it's miserable out. Why would you want to be out? Excuse me. Why would you want to be out there? But, um, like, it's just, you know, we're going to get through winter and when the spring comes, we're going to really hopefully get going with a lot of things. I got a lot of projects that I want to do. I got a lot of wood I want to get cut up, which needs to be cut up just to clean the place up even more. So that's going to get done. Uh, and, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to try to make every, here, here's the thing, and this is what a lot of people don't understand. As long as you continue to make progress and you're moving forward on your projects and you're getting something done, you know, that's what it's all about. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be instant, instant gratification. As long as you're making forward progress, even if it's a little bit at a time, that's a good thing. And, you know, that's the biggest thing. It's like, you know, you have to have it in your own mind. You have to say, okay, what have I done? What have I got accomplished? What do I still need to do? And you don't want to get overwhelmed because if you get overwhelmed, you're like, you know, oh my God, I got so much that I got to do. And I do, I have a lot that I want to do, but you just have to keep that perseverance going. And, uh, and, and again, the biggest thing is don't listen to the negativity. Don't listen to it because negative people want you to be negative like they're negative. And you know what? That's not that's not going to get you anywhere. It doesn't get you anywhere. You know, negativity breeds negativity. So stay positive. That's definitely a key. I'm going to show you some of the, the trees too. Here, let me. The uh, the pine trees will always look pretty with the snow on them. I always like the way that they look. And uh, but yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's just that kind of day. And. Uh, you know, what are you going to do? You just got to drive through it and go on. But uh, I was I got my coffee mug out, or actually my tea mug out here. I was greatest team in the world, guys. Just let me put that in there so you can see. See? I was having some tea. Um, you know, like I said, it's the, the biggest thing is staying positive. And remember what you're doing it for and who you're doing it for. You know, um... I always think about if, you know, an SHTF situation happens, you know, who's most important? Well, for me, most important is my kids and making sure that they have enough food, that they are as comfortable as possible, have a normal life as possible. You know, that's what's key for me. I mean, if the lights go out tomorrow and never came back on, things are going to change big time. And it's a possibility. I mean, it's a possibility. It could happen. So, you know, trying to keep things as normal as possible, uh, you know, it, 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 that's the most important thing. And I think a lot of people don't get that. They don't understand that. And, um, you know, when you don't have it, you appreciate it more. Um, you know, just like with us this year, last year, getting the running water going last year in the house. It was a huge thing. Now we have hot water. Another huge thing. So, you know, making those steps and making that progression and getting things done those are huge and uh it makes life a lot easier and uh it makes life a lot more normal and that's what it's all about realistically so you know the important thing is guys i want to you know always end everything with the same thing and i know i say it over and over and over again but i've had some great conversations with people that you know said they really appreciate it and it, it means a lot the important thing is to remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love tell them every day Really, I mean, it's the most important thing. It really is. Tell them how you feel, you know. Explain why you do what you do. Explain to them the reason that, that I go to work every day is for you, you know, to get the things that I need for you. Hopefully, that's what the reason you're doing it, you know. And, uh, you know, hug and kiss those people, you know, your kids and your wife or your husband. And, uh, you know, tell them how you feel. Tell them how you really feel. And it's, that's important because people need to hear that. And uh, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. You're going to reach your goals. You really will. Nobody can hold you back except for you. 
And, you know, don't listen to those negative whispers in your ear telling you you can't do it or, oh my God, they're out to get me or somebody's against me. Don't listen to those things. Be positive, stay positive, and you're going to do it. And you know what? And as you do it, people are going to be like, oh my God, they really did do that. That's what it's all about. Showing to people, and it's not like I'm trying to show anybody up. It's just, I'm a very determined person. I'm going to get done what I need to get done. And that's what it's all about. So, um, you know, I just wanted to share you that like that with the, with the solar power, what we're doing. Um, like I said, after talking with Bill and Rosa, you know, from the, um, from Bill and Rosa off grid, you know, um, you know, getting a solar tracker is probably my next move as far as the solar goes. And, uh, it makes sense. It's a smart way to go. And like I said, you got to listen to good advice. You got to listen to people that know what they're talking about. So listen, guys, have a great day and I will talk to you later and uh, keep persevering so you know we'll deal with our little bit of snow here that we got and uh, we'll move on i'll talk to you guys later prepper nurse went out for now